Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We are gonna be doing a hot or not because there are actually a few not hot items in this video. I'm just warning you up front, but there are a ton of new products at the drugstore right now and I have been playing with all of them. So there are even more videos than this one to come because everything's brand new. It is like the beginning of summer and all the new launches are happening and you know the second they hit the shelves, I am just like, give it to me. I wanna try it out on my face, take notes, wear it throughout the day. Like even when I don't do first impressions, that is the kind of crazy stuff that I do trying to figure out what works and what doesn't so I can sit down and do a video like this. We have so many affordable things in front of me. We're gonna start right here with a little elf. This surprised me so much. I can't even tell you. This might be my new favorite thing ever. This is six bucks. This is a duo. It is an aqua infused blush. This reminds me of the texture of the Dream Bouncy Blushes from Maybelline, but it's even more pigmented and it's a little bit creamier. It just blends better. It's kind of similar to the Stila Putty highlighters, just that kind of like bouncy, weird texture. Do you see as I'm like going in there? It's kind of a weird thing, but look how much pigment is coming off on my finger. Just look how easy this is for me to like get color on there. And it does not blend poorly or weird or blotchy. It just gives you the nicest flush. I am wearing it on my cheeks right now. And in fact, I even patted it on my lips and then I put a little bit of Buxom's White Russian on top of it. And it's like the perfect combo. I love how summery this is. And then it just kind of like ties together really beautifully. So I am into this in such a major way. I can't believe it's six bucks. This is Bronzed Peach, the duo, but you guys know I also picked up the other ones. So I picked up the shade Bronzed Violet and Bronzed Pink Beige. I will insert swatches for you guys. These are incredible. The bronze side of it is okay, but you do need to keep in mind that there is quite a bit of shine. So if you're like going up on the forehead, which the first time I used this, I totally did that. And I went in with a little bit of a too heavy hand and it just got a little bit too shiny up here for my liking. So just keep in mind, you might wanna only use the bronzer on the cheeks or just go in very sparingly because it does have that kind of a sheen to it that you might not be a fan of once it is on the face. Elf packaging always reminds me of NARS because they kind of ripped off NARS. Let's just like get it straight. That's what they did, but it works. Milani has new highlighters that are rocking my world in such a big way. I'm wearing it today. And I think this highlight is just so creamy and beautiful. And you can kind of go in a little bit heavy with it because it's not chalky or glittery. It just kind of is a very creamy, why do I, creamy is like the only descriptive I have for this particular highlight. It's just beautiful. It's not metallic but it's blinding. I have shade three and shade seven. Shade seven is actually a little bit more champagne-y, like a little bit lighter than three. So the shades are a little bit interesting. Don't think that you're getting shade three and it's like the lightest is my point. Milani did also bring out these right here, which I actually really love, except for the blush portion of it, I don't really get. I don't like it all swirled together, but individually, and even these two, the bronze and the highlight together, make a really pretty combo. I have worn this on the body. I have worn this on top of highlight. In fact, you know what? Even though I am like dripping in glow, let's just give it a little extra kick so you can see that white highlight right up here. Do you see how that gives you like a bam, kind of just like, I like just haloed my highlight. It's like darker on the outer edges and lighter in the center. I don't know if that would really do anything to your face, but I'm gonna pretend it does. I think Milani did an awesome job with these new highlighters. They are some of the best at the drugstore. Moving on. Stop looking at your monitor, Tati. My legs are falling asleep. Ooh, do you like my cute top from? American Eagle. I don't know why American Eagle has the best stuff right now. Not sponsored. I got this for like 20 bucks and I'm very proud of it. I'm gonna give you swatches of these. I was gonna do a dedicated video and then I was just kind of like, mah, mah. you know what's better? L'Oreal lip lacquers or the paints from Maybelline. Those formula wise are so much better than this. These for some reason just almost stay puffy and they like never sink in entirely to the lip. And so it's really weird along the edge. It doesn't bleed 
but it just has a very strange edge. I don't know, these just weren't for me, but I do want to share with you the swatches and the colors because I bought all of these myself, so why not include them in a video? But if I had to choose at the drugstore for a product like this, definitely the L'Oreal lip paints. Those are so good. I went really hard on Revlon, the Youth Fix line, and some of you may have seen that video. At the end of the day, I did like a really extreme close up and you see the foundation completely falling apart. But I do enjoy this primer. It is so thick, a little bit goes a long way, but if you like really press it in, it gives you the most flawless, pore free. I mean, look at my face right now. I'm using it again today. Just very pore free look to your skin. And I'm obsessing over it right now. So the other products in the range did not work out for me, but this one, even though it's $19.99, I am loving it. Let's talk a little model zone. Now this is drugstore over in Europe, but they just launched at Ulta and they are very affordable. I have two shadow palettes here that are just to die for. I have the Supernatural eyeshadow palette right here and I am wearing so many shades out of this palette right now on my eyes. And I actually wanna do a tutorial on this look because it was so easy but it just looks really finished and pretty and glowy, but smoky. I love this look so much. I use the shade Mystic in my crease. I used the shade Curse on the outer crease and then also Paranormal all over the lid, along with a little bit of Spiritual and Eternal. So I'm using a lot of shades out of here. And then I wanted to try out their cream palette, so I picked this up. I was swatching this in Ulta. I feel like I was swatching it because they have testers, and I was really, really impressed with this. Now, I haven't used any of the blue shades over here, but I have used um, all of these more neutral shades because you guys know that's what I go for. Now, on my fingers, it does not look more than like a little eye gloss, but I'm wearing the shade Electrum on my inner corner, like that high shine that you see through here is this cream and it does not crease. I'm gonna keep using this. I'm not 100% saying everybody go out and buy this cream shadow just yet, but it is really promising. But this, the shadow palette, holy smokes, so good, really beautiful quality. You can do so much with these colors and I am into it. Something I am not into. What is this, Rimmel? What on earth? Okay, this is a mascara. It says, shake it fresh. Is that not so weird? This is the wettest mascara. That's my problem with it. You like put it on and you try to build and A, it doesn't give you a lot of volume and then you get like splats of wet mascara everywhere. If you have the knee jerk reaction to like swipe your mascara away, you're gonna like wipe black everywhere and smear things. So just wait till it dries and kind of like scratch it off with your nail is your best bet. I don't like this. Sue me. Actually don't sue me. Rimmel don't hate me. I love you. Look at the powder that I use today. I like it so much much. I love Rimmel. I love all these brands. You guys have to know that whenever I go hard on a brand, it's a product. It's not the brand. And back to things that just did not work out from Models Own. This is the Eye Definer Liquid Eyeliner. Now, how cute is the packaging? Can we all just like take a moment for that? It's like this ombre kind of a thing. I love it. Now this liner, the brush is really good. It has a nice sharp point to it. The problem is it's one of these liners that gets really gunky and like clumpy right away. And you try to go over with like a smooth line and it just like picks up the color and does weird things. It's impossible to get your liner to go shh, perfect. So I'm a person that I go shh, liner and then I go, oh crap, I need to go back in and fill in all those little like ridges and weird things that are happening. And with this, it's impossible to do that. So I definitely think this one is a pass. Also, I had a hard time with their eyeshadow primer. This one is almost like a concealer, which makes me think, you know what, just use your concealer instead. When you put this on, it kind of gets very patchy and uneven and then can make your shadow grab unevenly because it's a little bit sticky, which I understand that the reason it's sticky like that is so your eyeshadow grabs and is more vibrant, but this one just did not work out for me. That was a lot of product, but so many great new affordable things. And I hope you like this kind of a roundup where I am showing you a ton of different brands. If you like this, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have specific requests, because I have a drawer filled with new drugstore 
store products, no joke, I have more Rimmel, Flower, L'Oreal, Revolution, Hard Candy. I have so much stuff that I need to put to the test and other things that I've already been trying out. So there is more drugstore whatnot coming soon to you guys. Just let me know what kind of video you would like to see. And if you enjoyed this one, please give it a thumbs up. I hope you're having a wonderful day and I will see you all in tomorrow's video. Mwah.